All right, here we go. Feet nice and wide. Make sure your chair is out of the way. You don't trip on it. I'm just gonna move mine over just a little bit more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and big, big inhale up. Side stretch, sweep, side stretch, sweep, and reach. Good. Keep those hips planted on that side stretch. And reach. One more. Hold those arms up and we pulse. Shoulders are down, tail is tucked, knees traveling over those toes. That's it. Now as you're coming up, we're gonna pull those elbows down. Pull, pull, pull. You got it. Squeezing those back muscles. Resist pulling down. That's it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Clap those hands, settle it down a little deeper. Shoulders down, belly in. We're gonna alternate the heel. We go up, 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 up. Lift, lift, lift. Let's go, let's go. Now the heel is lifting. I'm gonna rotate towards it. So getting a little rotation, warming up that spine. Pulse. Four more. Turn to face your bar. It's there if you need it. We're not staying long. Four, three, two, back to center. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, other side, turn, turn. Two, three, four, five, six, back to me for eight. Here we go, here's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, hold, hands low. We're gonna take it to an arch, take it to a round. Inhale down, exhale up. And give me one more. We take it down and we bring it up. Hands to your bar, connect your heels. We're gonna do some releve. We're gonna go up and down, up and down. Scoop that belly, send that tail long. Lift, lower, lift, good. Woo! Four more here, up. Three. Get ready to open up to face the front of the room. Keep one hand on your bar. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold here. I'm gonna bring it up and out. Up and out. Lift. Inner thighs are working to pull that leg back in as well as the core. I'm gonna add a little side stretch as I come in. I'm also gonna give the option to releve. Lift up, lift up. Four, three, two, one, and we pulse. The heel that matches the arm, lift it up. Good, add the other heel. Woo, wanna try balancing? Let go. The bar is always there for you. Make sure all those toes are pressing into that floor. We've got two more steps here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go for eight more, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it to a lunge. I'm gonna float those arms side to side. Good. Love it again. Now I'm gonna bend and press. Proud chest. That's it. Eight more, eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn to that bar. We're already in a split lunge. 
Make sure those arms are nice and long, spine is tall. I'm gonna lift this bottom heel up and down. And up and down, up and down, up and down. Woo! Lift, lift, lift. Make sure you're not tilted. We're up. Four, three, two, hold it up and pulse. That's it. Relax those shoulders. Your core is still pulling in and up. Anytime you want to, put that heel back down to your mat. Second set here. You'll start to feel a little heat in that thigh. Maybe. Third set. Two, three, four. Five, six, can you give me eight more here? Absolutely. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Then we step in and out, in, out. You're choosing whether that heel is still lifted or not. Woo! In, out, in, out, in. That's it. I'm gonna exhale as I pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in. Now I'm gonna go tempo and in, in, in. You have the option to take a knee. You also have another option. Don't touch the floor. Woo! Anybody trying that one? Of course. Yes. <laughs> Four, three, two, back to your lunge. Pulse it. Woo! Now, the hand closest to you, to me, the hand closest to me, you're gonna open that one up and go into a plie. So one hand's gonna go up and over, and that one hand's still on your bar. Four, three, retrace your steps, up and over. Two, three, four. Good thing we have two legs, because we get to do this all over on the other side. Woo! And four, three, two, up and over. Yes. Three, four more. Three, two, open. With a smile when you're facing forward. Four, three, two, one more set. There are some smiles, I love it. Four more here. Four, three, two, open it up. Last one. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna transfer my bar to the other side. All right, how do we do? Now just for a little bit, we'll be facing away from the center of the room. So I'm gonna start back facing my bar. Heels are connected. I'm gonna releve. Just lift those heels up and down. Yep, and then we'll turn to face forward. Scoop that belly in, wrap your thighs, gentle squeeze of your seat, lift and lower, lift. Barely any weight on that bar in front of you. That's it. Okay, you're gonna open up to face the front of the room. That's it. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed. Knees are tracking over your toes. Toes are turned out. Good. Now we're gonna do a plie and step in. We're gonna sweep that arm straight up. Out, up, out, up. So I'm not just pushing off this leg to come back in. My inner thighs are also working as well as the core. Now if you want, you can do that little side stretch as you come up and I'll add a releve. Inhale, exhale. You're choosing how low to bend those knees. Just make sure you're balancing a dinner plate on top of that head. Out, in, out, in, out. We got four more to go. Three, two, and one. Take out pulse. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's raise that heel that matches 
the arm is extended out. We're gonna be doing both heels anyway. If you lift the wrong one, add the other heel. If you want, let go of your bar. A lot of body parts are working to help balance you. One you might not realize are those inner thighs. Yeah. Pretend like a big stability ball is right on that floor between those thighs. You're squeezing into that ball. That's right. And two, and three, and four, and five. You're halfway there. Woo! Make sure your booty's not sticking out. Make sure those shoulders are resting on top of that rib cage. Eight more here. We go eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hand to your bar, and we turn. So we're in this little split lunge. The foot is in front. That heel is gonna go up and down. Here I go, up and down, up. Try not to lean into your bar. Arms should be long, spine should be tall. And lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Woo! You don't have to do the lift, you can just hold your split lunge. Two more, hold it up, and now it's pulse. Pulse that lunge. Beautiful, looking awesome. Woo! Again, you're gonna start to feel some heat in that thigh. Two, three, four, five, six. Anytime you need to, you put that heel down. I'm gonna be stepping in and out with my back foot. Here I go. My elbows will bend now, they're soft. I'm keeping that heel raised and that leg still. Hello, burn. Yes? Am I the only one? Maybe. In, out, in, out, in. I'm gonna pick up that pace. In, 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 in. It's just those toes tapping. Now if you want, you can draw a knee in instead of just tapping those toes. And then my final choice is to not touch the floor. Pull the knee in and press that leg back. Don't forget to breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Go back into your lunge. Pulse. Now get ready to turn to face me. In four, one hand stays to your bar. Sweep that arm up now. Eight. Hello. Gorgeous you. And three, and two, up and over. Go. So one hand always stays. Feet have to pivot. Four, three, two, open up. Yes. Heels are down. Now pivot around. Back heel is lifted. My front heel is down. Three, two, bring it back around. Woo! Good. Don't lock those knees. Stay bent. Up and over. Go. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Open it up. Go, go. Yes. Loving it. We're going to stay right here. Clasp those hands and pulse. Good. Now I'm going to do a quick step step. Come into a squat with position with my thighs. Now do a step step. Go back out. Four, five, six. Step back in. Boom, boom. Proud chest, yes? Look above eye level. Step out. Boom, boom. Now instead of stepping in, in, you can hop. Option. Step, step, or hop. Remember, you never have to jump. You just step, step. Now. Bring it in. Last one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Grab a quick drink. 
We'll reset. We're gonna go to our weights for a little bit, okay? I wanna be using two pound weights. The highest I would go are threes. Check in with your body. Those thighs should feel something, yeah? Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's get moving again. Here we go. One weight in each hand. Now hold it still. Turn those palms in. I'm gonna pull as I tap. Now you're gonna notice my standing leg is bent. Out, in, out, in. Let's pick it up. Two, three. Now if this bothers that front knee or that knee that's bent, come a two and stay stationary. Got it? Out, out, out. Come on. Row. Squeeze those back muscles. Drive those elbows behind you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squat here. Good. Put those palms to face forward. Curl on the up. Squeeze those biceps. Make sure those wrists are staying straight. So I want you to make sure you don't have a tight grip on those weights, but you got to grip enough that those wrists are not flopping down like this. So know where your weights are. You can go whatever pace you want. Four more. Okay, back to our row. Pull back, palms are turned in. Standing leg is staying in place. It's staying bent, knees and toes facing straight ahead. Four, three, two, go. Two, three, four. Can you feel your abdominals engaged? Two, three, four. You got it. to breathe. I'm exhaling as my elbows pull back. Four more here. Let's go right into those squats with bicep curls. Now this time, my arms are going up and I'm going down. Booty back, booty back. You shouldn't be staying out in front of those knees. Don't forget to breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, wide stance. All right, palms face you. We're gonna do a front raise into a wide row. So here's my front raise. Here's my wide row. Now retrace my steps. Let's rehearse. Up, pull, out, down, one count each. That's it. Up, pull, out, lower. Shoulders, back. Nice. You can also do this one arm at a time. And if holding it this high and pulling is not good for you, Take that out and just do the up and down. Don't arch your back, bend those knees, don't lock them. That's it. Gently squeeze your seat. Up, back, out, down. Try one arm if that works better. See what happens. Good. Up, pull. Bend those knees a little more if you're able. Hold those arms out, flip those palms up. Biceps here. Shoulders have got to be supported by that armpit muscle, that upper back muscle. You can also do bicep curls down here. Bam, come on. In, out, in, out, in. Here's 
four. I'm still gonna do bicep, but I'm gonna turn my elbows away from each other. Hold it, open. I'm also gonna take it to a lunge. So again, if this isn't cold for your shoulders, if they're saying ouch, or the elbows, do that bicep curl we did before. Straight arms down and curl. Let's go, side, side, out, in. Those arms are parallel. Now again, you gotta know where that weight is. You don't want that weight dropping your wrist down. So if you're feeling that stretch in the front of that wrist, that's what's happening. We don't want that. Out, in, out, in. Yep, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. We're gonna press it up, goal post, up, goal post, up. How are those arms doing? I notice when people get tired, yeah. When people start to get tired, they start to lean back. So if that's starting to happen, squeeze the glutes a little bit more. You can also do this seated on your chair, or the couch, or a bench. So I'm gonna come goal post up, goal post across, goal post up, goal post across. In, out, up, down, in. You want to try tempo? Maybe. In, up, in, up. Even the music's working with you. It's getting softer. <laughs> Are we getting more tired? No. Come on. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, don't hate me, hold it in, push it up, Woo. I feel what you feel, <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's a party right now, but that's okay, it's work, it's called getting stronger, four, three, two, one. Let those weights hang. I'm gonna do some shoulder rolls. Weights are gonna go with me. I'm gonna roll them in reverse. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, come into a squat width position. Drive your elbows back. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what I'm talking about. From your hip, not your back, we hinge. So this is wrong. This is right. Shoulders down, kickbacks. Triceps, out, in, out, in. So I don't want you looking at your thighs. I don't want you looking at the ceiling. The neck should be in line with the spine. We're looking diagonally out there. Send your tail heavy, drive your navel deep. Now I'm gonna stop at my hip and go out in quicker to the beat. So you need to make a fist with that tricep, tricep, back of the arm. You can also do one arm at a time. Woo! Make sure those shoulders are nowhere near those ears. Every once in a while, check in what I'm doing, make sure it's what you're doing. Bend and extend. Eight more here, let's go. Seven, six, Five, four, three. Now hold it back there. Flip the palms up. I'm gonna choose to come a little bit more forward because my back is okay with that. We're gonna take these arms and pulse them this way. Make sure you're squeezing lemons in those armpits. Woo! We're back. Push it up, push it up. Two, three. Don't get cranky in your neck or your back. Keep it behind you, keep it behind you, keep it high. Woo! Can you feel these? Okay, eight more here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out.
out, roll it out. Woo. My favorite back exercise we're gonna do next. So I'm gonna take it to a little bit wider in the squat position. Make sure you know we're near your bar. Palms face in, we're gonna do reverse flies. Pull, pull, pull. That's it. I pause there for a second. I'm squeezing those blades. Pull it back. Pull it back. Side view. Pull. So the torso is staying still. Knees are soft. Neck in line with your spine. That's it. Love these. All the muscles in the body need to be strong, right? But I'd like to add a little, especially your upper back, that helps hold you up, your posture. But it also goes along with the chest being able to be open. So this is a two for one. I feel that chest opening as my arms pull back. If you get tired, just get rid of those weights. Because we're not done yet with these. <laughs> Take one leg back, I'm gonna lift it. Now you don't have to add this leg. So I'm gonna squeeze that booty. In three, I'm gonna switch legs. Two, bring it in, other leg. So the other leg is bent. It's staying that way. This is it, this is it, I promise. Four more, four more, here's four. Three, two, and one. Okay, weights down. I'm gonna take that chair back to the other side so we're all facing the center of the room. I'm gonna give you a little back stretch here. Don't leave me, ball. I want you to reach those arms long. So like you're sending your tail down and trying to round that spine. And then I'm gonna let my hips, navel, sink, glutes, and chest press out. So now I'm arching. And then I want you to tuck the tail and round. Good. So I'm gonna keep my hands right where they are, keep my arms where they are. I'm gonna take my right foot, slide it back. My hip should be in a straight line, lined up with my shoulders. Stop on that standing leg. We're gonna reach this back leg up and down. Squeeze your seat, drive the belly in. So we work those thighs pretty hard. Let's hit the glutes just as hard. Second set. I'm very lightly tapping my toes to the floor. Squeeze your seat. Don't feel strained to your lower back. If you're feeling strained to the lower back, don't keep the leg as high. Squeeze the seat more. Third set. Two, good. Three, four, five, six. We got one more set to go. Standing leg should be soft. And seven, good. Six. Four, three, we're not done. Two, hold this one up and pulse it. So I'm making a fist with that butt cheek of that leg that's moving. We're on the second set of pulses already. My last two, I'm gonna trace a rainbow with those toes. So I'm gonna go up, side, up, other side, up, side, up, other side. So I'm not dropping low. I'm moving my leg in and out. Eight more here. Eight, seven, six. Can you feel that burn? Five, four, three, two, and one. Now drive that knee in, press it out. On the in, I'm rounding and scooping that belly. Move with control. You should feel pain. You should not feel pain in that lower back. Second set. Three, 
four, five, six, seven. You're almost there. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed. Light grip on your bar. If being forward like this is starting to hurt your back, you are more than welcome to stand tall and do the same thing we're doing. Can you give me eight more? Eight. You can always stand up. Seven. Six. Five. Three. Two. Hold that knee in and pulse it. Up. Crunch the abdominals, relax the shoulders. Raise up onto that, those toes, the standing leg. Woo! How's this? Use your core, use your core. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, so that right leg is gonna cross over that quad, and I'll bend my standing leg. If you come down far enough, you feel a stretch in the glute that was just working. I'm gonna take that ankle and cross it in front of my other ankle, and then my left hand is gonna stretch, so I feel a nice up and over out of that hip. It was standing there holding you. Uh-huh. Now take the left leg back. Bring the left arm up and stretch to your right. That standing leg was working too, you know. It needs a little love. All right, bring it in. Are we ready for the other side? Yes, we are. Class is more than half over. Let's go. So I'm gonna reach back. Connect the shoulders to your back. Both knees are bent. Slide your left toes back. Don't go yet. Make sure we're set up correctly. Hips in a straight line, in line with your shoulders. Neck is relaxed. Are we ready? Four, three, two, lift. In tap. And I know this butt cheek feels like it already worked because it's been stabilizing. I'm sorry. We'll get through it. One set's already done. Second set. Two, three. Crown of the head should be nice and long. Shoulders, relax them. Don't relax the booty. Squeeze that baby. Drive the belly in. Halfway through this part. Up and down. Third set. Take a break when you need one. Stand up when you need one. Okay, we've got eight more. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Now remember, we're not done. We go to pulses and rainbows. <laughs> Hold it up, pulse. Make sure you're not leaning to that standing leg side. Two. Now you're more than welcome to stay up and down. I'm gonna do that up and over rainbow. Here I go. Up to the right, up to the left. Four. Five, stay locked in with that standing leg. We've got eight more to go here. Eight, seven, six, five. You gotta squeeze that booty. And three, and two, and one. Drive that knee in, out. Shh, shh, in. Out, in, out. One set, done. Two. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, halfway through. Bam. Remember the other option. Stand up. Knee, kick back. You just won't be parallel to the floor with that leg. In, out, okay, last eight. You've got this, don't quit now. Modify, but don't quit. We do four more, then that knee is gonna pulse. Three, two, one, knee pulses in. Two, three, 
floor, drive it in. Use your abdominals to drive it in. Second set. If you want, lift that heel. Drive, bam, woo! Stronger you today, do you feel stronger? That's right, okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's stretch. Cross the left ankle, over that right thigh, sit into it, feel that glute stretch, left glute. I'll slide that ankle down in front of the other ankle. My right arm is gonna stretch up and then over, and you're gonna push that hip down. Lovely. Okay, grab a quick drink. We're gonna do some outer and inner thigh work, okay? So we'll start with inner. We'll do outer on the mat. This is the ball, it's gonna come between those thighs. And I want you to press air out of that ball before you even start to move. Hand to chair, hand to the hips. I'm gonna bend those knees and raise my heels. So you don't have to add the heel lifting. Side view, everything is pulling in between two panes of glass. So I'm not sticking out or pushing forward. All we're gonna do here is hold this position and squeeze that ball. Now if you're like, I don't feel this, you have to start with that ball already pressed into. Create that work, create it. Now there's two other body parts that are also working. When you squeeze that ball, squeeze that belly, like an ab crunch, like you're doing this, but we're not doing that, but we're crunching it. Third part, the glutes. Fire those glutes. Now I'm gonna go squeeze, squeeze, hold. Squeeze, squeeze, hold. Squeeze, squeeze, hold. The abdominals are working just as hard, just as much as the glutes. Of course, the inner thighs, that's the obvious one. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze, hold it. Love it. Squeeze, squeeze, stay focused. Know what's working, know where to feel it, know where not to feel it. Back, knees, hips, ankles. Now hold that ball in as we do these little pulses. But holding that ball in, keeping that tension, I'm keeping those inner thighs working. Can you feel it? One person? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought so. I need to hear you, I need to know you're alive and breathing. I can see you're moving, but I wanna know you're alive. Come on, I'm pressing that ball in as I'm coming up. Are your thighs shaking? Yeah, I can feel mine shaking. That's okay, don't get freaked out. Don't think you gotta stop. Now hold it down, hold it, just hold it. Six, five, four, three. The burn is real, up, down, squeeze on the up. Up, up, Stay down and hold. Seven, six, pull the belly in deeper. Keep those inner thighs and glutes engaged. Up, down, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it down, eight, seven, six. I wanna put my heel down that's closest to my bar. My other leg is gonna lift that foot off the floor. This thigh's gonna press in to that ball. <laughs> Now, if you want to work on balance here, you're more than welcome to let go. But if this standing leg is going to be wobbling, you got to hold on. Pulse it in. Two, three, four, five, six. And my foot is not buckling in. It's staying in line with the back of my knee. Four, three, two, one. Settle it in. Other foot comes off. Knees are bent. Squeeze slow at first. Press in. Press in. I don't want this leg pressing in and pushing this leg or hip out. So you're gonna feel like you're against that wall with this outer thigh. It's gonna be working as well. Four, three, 
to pulse it if you want. And maybe this is your weaker side, meaning this might be weaker. It can't stabilize you. So if you're going to tilt and squeeze, hold on to your bar. Woo! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, let's take it down to the floor. And I want you to turn your bar. So now the back of the chair is away from the mat. Because eventually, if we have time, we're gonna do some bridges with that. Okay, so you're gonna mirror me. Let's take that ball, place it underneath that rib cage. I'm gonna have a weight. I'm gonna prop over that ball on my forearm. So prop up on your forearm. Knees are bent. Heels should be in line with your seat. Stretch the top leg straight out. Take that weight. That palm is facing the leg. Make sure your hips are stacked, so don't be leaning back. Check it out, are the hips stacked? The leg in line with your hip. We're gonna lift the leg to the weight. The leg's gonna go parallel. Now the weight is optional. Again, shoulder issue, do it without the weight. Do not be leaning back. Squeeze the lemon in that armpit as you come down. Now I'm also squeezing this oblique. Make sure you feel that firing. Stay light on your ball. That's it. I'm pushing the opposite leg that's not moving down to the mat as I lift this leg. Good. Stay with me. I'm only taking that leg hip height. Last eight. Eight. Seven. You can also get rid of the ball and lie all the way down if that feels better. Three. Two. Now hold it up. Rest the weight on that thigh and pulse it. Now if that's too much, put the weight down. Squeeze your butt. Shoulders down. Reach long. Can you feel it? more sets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. We got this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The arm is propping you up. Lie on it. Other hand goes behind your head. Know where your chair is. It shouldn't be too close. We're going to come up for two and then down for two. So now I'm working just this oblique. Up for two. And I'm gonna use this bottom arm here as much as I need to, to assist me coming up. Get a nice long stretch over that ball, inhaling. Exhaling, come up. You got it. Up and down. Hang tight. Up and down. Shh. Can you give me two more and then we're going to do some pulses? Now I'm going to lift it up and pulse. Tiny. Right here is where I'm pulsing into that diagonal pocket. Two. Three. Gently squeeze your seat. Pull those abdominals in. I feel this burn, do you? I mean, why shouldn't the abdominals feel the same burn your lower body felt? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and I'm gonna stretch it. Let the head fall down, don't strain the neck. Good, bring it up and we'll go to the other side. So we put that ball at the bottom of that rib cage. Don't be too close to that chair. Weight's close by. Prop yourself up on that forearm. Elbow, shoulder in a straight line. This ball is here to remind us to stay lifted, not to collapse. Top leg out. Here we 
Here we go. Up, down. I'm only going hip height. I'm squeezing my back muscles. Outer thigh, outer hip, glutes, obliques. So as the leg comes up, the arm goes down. They meet, so they don't go up together. It's separate. Every once in a while, glance. Where is that leg? Come down with the same speed you went up with. Go your own pace and this is too fast. Nice. Five. Six. Seven. Can you give me eight more? With or without the weight? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. If you want to not so long of a lever, why don't you bend the knee and lift it? Now put that weight on that thigh and pulse. Or I can have my knee bent like this and pulse. You're still working, the lever is just not as long. Is that better for some of you guys? Okay. Make sure this shoulder that's holding you up is not creeping up to your ears. Push it down, connect it to your back. Lift, push that bottom leg down. Woo! We've got that burn back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, the arm has got you propped up. Reach for me, go over that ball. So you gotta make sure that ball is down here and not up here. You'll have nowhere to go. Here we go. Up. Over. Squeeze the oblique. You do not want to feel this in that lower back pocket. So if you do, a couple things might be happening. You might be leaning back. You need to fire the glute a little bit. You want the squeeze, the fist, here. Top diagonal pocket, side pocket. Anytime you feel pain in that back, stop and stretch. Regroup. Use your breath, please. New bodies, here we come. Stronger you. Uh, one more. I'm gonna pulse it. You don't have to. If you'd rather stop right here and stretch, that's fine. Anchor here, not your back. Watch the neck. They're tiny little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stretch. Woo! Nicely done. Bring it up. Okay. If you need support, come back so you don't hit into your chair, okay? If you need support, you put the ball behind you. I'm gonna take the arms behind me. I'm gonna face my fingertips for now towards me. You can also turn them out. And all I'm gonna do is drive a knee in. So I'm slightly lean back. That ball can be there to support your back. Don't need it. Put it between your weights. Bam. Use your abdominals to pull you in. Now there's a way to make this harder. And you can lift those hips up if you want. And then drive a knee in. What I'll do for you. In, out, in, in. So I put more weight on those shoulders and wrists, right? So I turn my fingertips out. Seven, 
six, five, how are we doing? Four, three, yeah, two, and one. Reach forward, relax the shoulders. I'm gonna flip my palms up, let my wrist get a little stretch. All right, so take that ball under those feet. I'm gonna have my weight one on each side. I'll start with my hands behind me, elbows bent, legs together. I'm gonna roll out, in. Find that spot on that ball, feet work best. Now if you don't need the support of the hands, try first without the hands before you grab your weights. Out, in, out, in, out, in. I grab my weights, palms turned in, shoulders down. I'll bring one arm up at a time as I bend my knees in. Remember I start off level one, I take it to a two, I take it to a three. Looking good. Eight more here if you want. Both arms. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Roll it out. Stretch it forward. Nice. Put that ball between the thighs. Now we have very sturdy chairs. So we can do this with these chairs. If you've got like a folding chair or anything that's floppy, not strong, keep your feet on the floor. We're going to take our feet on top. My knees should be in line with my hips. Without a mirror, it's kind of hard sometimes to tell that. So I'm gonna take it up for two and down. So I'm not articulating, everything's lifting, everything's lowering. And again, if you don't feel comfortable or safe with your feet on the chair, your feet are on the floor. Why am I putting my feet up? I'm gonna work harder. I'm gonna open those hips a little more. You got it. Up. I'm still engaging those abdominals. As I'm coming up, I'm driving that navel in. Holding here, little pulses. Squeeze the ball if you want on the up. Make sure your glutes are doing enough work so the hamstrings don't get cranky. Woo! And lower it down. Take the hands behind your head. I'm gonna take the knees towards me and then tap my toes on my chair or my heels, possibly. Go slow. Up. Tap. In. Out. And I'm barely putting any weight on those heels when they're touching that chair. That's it. Now hold it up and I'm gonna pulse the upper body. Chest is lifting towards the ball, shins parallel to the floor. Keep the ball tight. Try to come up where your shoulder blades are off the floor. Bring those legs straight up. Heels turned in, toes turned out. As I lift, I'm gonna press on the ball, which is gonna give me an extra bam for the belly. You can also do this with your head down and just contract the abdominals when you squeeze that ball. Oh, you only have like a minute left. I'm so sad. Now hold the legs still. Down. Lift. Now if this is not cold for your back, put your hands. See if you can support. You can also put your head down. Never feel like you have to have your head lifted. So I just gave you a bunch of modifications. Take the ones you need. Keep your back heavy when you're lowering those legs towards your bar. Down, lift, 
down, lift, inhale, exhale, keep that back even heavier, can you give me two more, yes you can, last one, and hug it in, rock side to side gently, I'm going to take my arms behind me like in a goal post, I'm going to sway my knees to one side. I'm going to keep those arms and shoulders heavy. Bring it back up. Sway to the other side. Wonderful. Bring it back to center. Grab onto those shins and pull towards you, releasing any yuckiness to that lower back. Take your feet to the floor. Rock yourself up. I'm going to take my legs and straddle my chair. My hands, I'm going to rest right here on top of them. Just sit up tall if you need to, bend your knees. I just want you to slide your hands forward and stretch the back. And then slide those shoulders back down as you bring those hands closer to you. Nod that shin to your chest first. As your arms go forward, watch your navel push back. it up. We'll do one more. Chin to chest as you exhale all the air out of your center. Great. Bring it back in. And now let's take our legs through the chair and stretch this way. And I'm going to try and reach my hand as far forward as I can, pressing the back of those knees down to the floor. And use your abdominals to bring it up. Okay, scoot back. Figure four stretch for your glutes. Cross your right ankle over that quad. Hinge forward, the chest goes forward. The glutes are pushing back. Now put that foot all the way to the floor. Twist over that bent leg. Pull yourself closer towards that leg as you're looking over that shoulder. And release. Left heel crosses over the right quad. Hinge forward, chest forward, glutes back. It's a glute stretch on the left side. Relax the neck, relax those shoulders. You deserve this stretch. Take your foot to the floor. Twist over that bent leg. Pull yourself closer and taller. And look over that shoulder. Good. Unwind, face forward, inner thigh stretch. Butterfly stretch. I'm gonna pull those heels towards me. I'm gonna grab onto my ankles, my elbows, push those knees down as far as they can go. Relax the neck, shoulders, back. Near me, take a leg out. Prop onto that thigh and side stretch. Anchor down everything you're stretching away from. Now turn towards that straight leg, grab on with two hands and pull. Come onto your forearm and pull that foot behind you for a quadricep stretch. You can take a nap on your chair. <laughs> you might fall asleep. Okay, now the leg is behind you. Bend that leg. Take the other leg out. Reach. Up and over. Anchor everything you're stretching away from down to the floor. Turn with two hands. Pull your torso towards that thigh. Stretch that hamstring. Come on to your forearm, following me. Knee in line with the hip. Push the foot into the hand. Good. Come into a quadruped position. Face the center of the room. You're on your hands and your knees. We're gonna arch this cat-cow. 
and then round. Inhale, melt those shoulders. Exhale, curl those toes under, lift those knees off the mat, and press those heels down. Now if the heels are three inches off that mat, walk your hands closer towards you. I'll lift one heel, push that opposite heel down. I'm pushing through my hands. I feel a nice stretch in the calf. Other heel pushes down. Switch it. Switch it. Two heels are down. We're gonna walk our hands towards our feet. If you can't touch the floor, with even just your fingertips, you'll need to soften your knees. Head hangs heavy. Now pull your navel in and dangle these arms. You gotta be using your core to support your spine in this forward position. Now using your core, start to peel yourself up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, face me. It's gonna be one big inhale up and exhale down. You made it. Oh, I got a thumbs up. Okay. Thumbs up to you guys too.